is it possible that Jupiter has eaten up other planets, as some latest study suggests? Right. So what is Jupiter? Uh, I hope you all know the solar system, what it's like. Can you name the planets? Can you name the planets starting from the sun onwards? So let me tell you, we have the sun, then we have Mercury, Venus, then the Earth, then you have Mars, then you have the asteroid belt, then you have Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, then you have further, uh, uh, there's a whole bunch of planets called the trans, uh, uh, not planets, even Pluto is no longer classified as a planet, and so on. Then you have the uh, objects that are beyond Pluto, the minor planets, the planetesimals, you have the Oort cloud, comets, comets, and much more. The Trojan asteroids, uh, various other asteroids and so on. So, we're talking about Jupiter. So, Jupiter is uh, the largest planet in the solar system. It's also believed to be the, it, it, it is also most likely the oldest planet in the solar system. It's the first large, first overall planet that formed out of the proto uh, uh, excuse me, proto proto stellar uh, uh, gas cloud, right? From the primordial solar system. Uh, so uh, the solar system's age is about four point five seven billion years. Yeah, and Jupiter is is believed to have formed the solid core of Jupiter is believed to have formed about between one million years and five million years after the start of the solar system's history. So it's the oldest planet that we know of. Earth. So 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 Jupiter is about four and a half billion years old. The Earth is also about that old, but slightly younger than that. And as we know, Jupiter is about 320 times the mass of the Earth. It is 1,000th the mass of the Sun. So that's about Jupiter. So uh, is it possible that Jupiter has eaten up other planets? It is entirely possible. See, the old, the early solar system was a very dynamic place. There was a lot of chaos. There were, the, it's possible there were certain planets called super-Earths that were formed in the possibly in the inner solar system inner solar system means between the orbit of uh between the sun and the orbit of present day orbit of jupiter it's present that certain very large rocky planets were formed in the early solar system uh in this period right and because of the very dynamic nature of the solar system at that time there would have been collisions between these super earth like planets which possibly uh, gave rise to the asteroid belt that we witnessed between the orbits of Mars, Mars and Jupiter. It's also possible that Jupiter was earlier formed. When it was formed, it was at a different location, at a different distance away from the solar from the sun, maybe much further outwards. And then because of the gravitational dynamics, it came inwards and it shepherded certain planets and it gave rise to the order that we see today. So it is certainly almost almost 99.9% .9 probable it has eaten up, swallowed up ancient planets in the past. And certainly lots of debris, rocky debris, etc. It has definitely done that. We have witnessed uh, about 20 or so years ago, maybe before that, the uh, the crash of the of the comet Shoemaker-Levy into Jupiter. The, or, the gravity of the planet first tore the, the, shredded the comet into multiple pieces and then those pieces eventually ended up hitting the planet Jupiter. And this was witnessed. The, we can see, you can see photographs of that available online. And so it swallowed up that comet. In the past, there would have been lots of events like that. Even entire planets would have possibly been swallowed up by Jupiter. So I don't know which study you're referring to, but it is definitely very likely that this happened. Even Saturn would have swallowed up certain planets. It's also quite likely that Earth itself in its uh, early phase was hit by, we know that there was a massive bombardment, the so-called Hadean period. But it's quite likely that Earth, the Earth itself was hit by a large planet in the very ancient past, maybe about, about four and a half, 4.3, 4.4 billion years before today. And that collision most likely possibly gave rise to the moon, right? So yeah, it's a very interesting history. We don't know a lot about it, but depending on what we see today, we can kind of reconstruct the earlier, older history of the solar system. So yes, it is quite possible that Jupiter has eaten up, like you say, <laughs> other planets in the past.